this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. So here we are on vlog number 11. We have passed the 10 point and now it's just a habit here at Nikki in Niagara's. <laughs> so um, I'm going to work on my fire and ice picture and I'll show you how to get started if you are still on or if you're unclear on how to do that. Perhaps you're undecided whether you're going to participate and hopefully uh, watching me do this will help you. You have the entire month so there's no, it's never, it's not too late and uh, and anyways, it's never too late. You can do this. You can do this challenge next month. Um, there's no Nikki police. <laughs> so, anyways, um, so I knew I was gonna work out of this book. This is Mermaid with no S by Jade Summer. They have a Mermaids with an S that is, comes in line art and grayscale. This one, without the S, so far only comes in line art. Though I can, I'm going to say it now because it happened to me already, is that as soon as I color in this, I haven't colored a picture yet. The reason I'm, the reason I'm picking this book is because it is my, it is my um, spin the wheel book to work in. So. It doesn't have anything done in it yet. But as soon as I do color in this, I definitely expect that Jade Summer will grayscale it because they've done that to me before. So as I was putting the pictures in here, this, um, this edition that I actually have is uh, from the Fantasy Collection, but every other book in, there's, there was four books, and three of the books have been grayscaled and I own them so I don't need to have the line art anymore because I prefer grayscale if I have the two if I have the two available to me I will not color in the line art I will color in the grayscale however <laughs> I like line art just as much as the next person so hmm I'm wondering if that's the delivery guy Oh, yes, it is. He stopped in front of my house. So, it is in the evening. Let's see if I can see the clock from here. I think it might be 7.30. So, um, as I was putting this into the binder, because I took the pages out of the fantasy collection, I was looking at the pictures to see which one I would do for my fire and ice picture. And this is the one I chose, because I thought it was appropriate because if we look on this side we have this mermaid little mermaid right here and she looks kind of vicious and she's got a skull in her hand so uh, there's something not exactly right going on there and down below her are two more uh, skulls now this lady here uh she seems to be like trying to go up uh, uh, wait wait hold on there just just wait a minute so i think that this is the fire side and this is the ice side so that's the way we're going to do it i'm going to take this page out And I don't need a blotter sheet because I've got this. This is, um, not sure what it's called. It's the stuff that's like two pieces of poster board um, adhered to a piece of corrugated cardboard in the inside. So it's a little bit thick and it's quite sturdy, but it's black, so I don't care if I get alcohol stains on it. And I think it's about time to get a new one of these anyways because it's got a lot of um, it's got a lot of denting on it here and as I'm watching my videos back I'm noticing that it looks a bit rough. So um, one thing I didn't um, make clear in the um, 
in the uh, introduction video to this challenge is that you can use any medium that you like. Um, I showed myself and my, my example was all markers, but that's just because I'm mostly a marker person. Um, but you can do this in pencils, um, you can do it in watercolors, you can do it in mixed media and throw everything under the sun at it and that would actually be pretty cool. I'd love to see that. See some see some like especially on the blue side like all shades of blue and that includes blue watercolors, blue blue um, neo colors, blue pencils, blue markers. That'd be really cool. Okay so the first thing that we do is measure our um, coloring space. Now you may not have a frame on yours and your coloring space may be the actual whole page. Uh, mine has a frame though so I'm going to take that into consideration and it measures seven and a half. So half of that is three and three quarters. No. Three would be six. Three and a half is seven. Okay, so the halfway mark is three and a half. Why does it all why does it always seem like one side is so much larger than the other? Okay, no, this is seven and a half. I was right in the first place. Three and three quarters. Wait, three quarters is would be six quarters, which would be one and a half would be six, seven and a half. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't like doing math on the spur of the moment. Okay, now which one? I always have a hard time with the quarter marks on these inches things. They don't make them long enough. I'm assuming that's it right there. So, so yeah, okay. I know I was at three and a half. That's why it was not seeming right. Okay, so make a little mark near the top and then make a little mark near the bottom. This just ensures that you have a, a straight line and not one that's a little slanted if you make the two, the two markings. Okay, I gotta keep my eye on that one because it ended up going right in the, right on a black line. Okay, so you don't need to measure this way. You just need to line up your line up your markings. Where's the one up there? Oh, there it is. Okay, so you line up your markings and you also make sure that your you fall on these lines straight. So this one needs to come over a bit and that one needs to go there. Okay. And again, no one I need to move it over just a little bit to incorporate my pencil. I'm using a a large pencil here, so it will make a dull line. Use a dull pencil over a sharp one. Okay, now keep that line in there and as we work on it we'll erase it. So oh I was going to bring some pencils over here. Okay, so just let me go. Now I'm set. And we're going to see what happens here because one of the things I was going to tell you guys is that I got my chair. But the only problem is, is that <laughs> to get on it, I have to do a little hop. And then that means that I start rolling away because it is larger of course because this is an executive one so it's got arms and it's got and it's got uh, a big back it's got lumbar support and it's got this really really thick padding on the edge of the seat so for your legs which is really nice and it does a little it does the lean back thing so that you can you can lean in it and then take a relax and um, it's not a fancy one because you know I couldn't afford anything fancy but it's got what I need but as I said I have to hop to get onto it because um, I'm short <laughs> 
so I don't, I don't think I've ever mentioned my height on here before. I am five foot one. So, um, why am I getting out my pencil crayons since I just told you I was going to be doing this in the marker? Well, that is because uh, Misty asked me to go over how I do the hair again because she couldn't quite uh, see everything since I was doing it on that grayscale, and I, I won't ever be doing that again. So I'm using my Spearer Farbens, and I'm going to work on which side? I don't know what that's going to look like with the great big ones, but uh, let's do her hair. Okay, so she's going to be fire. So that means I want red or orange. I don't even have my... Yellow. Yellow's not dark enough. You need to use a dark color for this to show up. So, it looks like the one named Bronze is going to be the darkest. Orange or... Okay. So where are my reds? Oh, okay, they're over there in front of the pink. So it goes it goes yellow. Yeah. So it's got like yellow, then some neutrals, and then orange, and then the reds. The reds and purples and the blues and greens and the little things. Oh. Oh man, I did not even think this out because we're, I need a pencil sharpener now. <laughs> my toes, just my tippy toes touch the, touch the bottom and I've got my thing inflated down as much as I can. So, of course, now I do have a pencil sharpener, but I don't have anything to put my shavings into. So, I will just put them on this piece of paper. dump them in. So, did I say I was using my Spear Fireworks? Yeah, so I'm going to start with the hair and uh, do the, there we go. Now look at that point on that. I don't know how well it shows. That's a nice and look, look at my shaving. One big curl. I just absolutely love this. And this is my old one. I haven't even started to use the new one. Okay, so we're going to start at the crease in her head. Okay, and do remember that um, I, I, I'm not going to be including the link now every single time I do this because I have given her credit um, several times. And I will one more last time here is that I didn't invent this. I am just using a technique that I saw over on and that I re finally remember her name is um, Addicted to, the number two, Addicted to Coloring. She is a lovely girl. And, uh, yeah, so I took, took it from there and I started using, she shows you how to make black hair. And, um, I've just taken it to do it with any dark color. So, we are going to start with the hairline here. And the first highlight is going to go on this curve up here. So I'm just going to draw them in, draw it in on there. So we're going to color from the hairline. And I can put this out of the way because I'm not going to need any more colors. But I'm going to have to turn this, okay, because you guys know I'm a, I'm a page turner. And if you're new here, I am a page turner. There's no point in me trying to 
color at an angle. So we're coloring and we're pushing we're pushing as much as we need to to make it as dark as we want it to be because we're not going to be doing any layers or anything like that. Okay, so you want to color nice and dark up to that line. And, oh, you know what? This might be the first time I've done hair with a Spear of Farben, so we're getting to see what it's like with oil-based pencils. But so far, I've only done it with wax-based. Hopefully, this is more of a success than doing it for grayscale on the first time. Okay, so then you want to color this. Not too much, because you might go past your next highlight space. And then, like, this is very small compared to what I've done before, and I think we need to sharpen the blender. So, you need a blender, too. And look at, look at that shaving off of the blender, and that's like, that's some rough wood. Okay, so, whoops. Didn't empty it all the way. So now we're just going to blend this together here, like that. There we go. And if it's not dark enough, I mean, if your blend spot isn't light enough, just go over it with an eraser, which I don't have my pencil eraser here. I just have this one, so I won't be doing that part. Okay, so now I'm going to do it on the other side. Sorry, I'm just concentrating that I don't go past my line. Okay, and then I'm going to blend them. And these, then the oil-based pencils blend nicely. This one turned out nice. I pushed a bit too hard on the other side that I was starting to, I was starting to burnish it. Okay, so now we're going to do is we're going to go through the hair and make all the lines. So you want to make them where curves are, and it's up to you how many you want, but I've, I've realized that if you put too many, they look silly. So, that's one here, so you're putting them on the rounded curved parts. And then here we've got a great big piece, so it's just going to go straight across the where the curve is here. And don't put them too far apart, but you need them far enough apart that that, that blended part can show. Okay, so I guess we'll, well, maybe we'll continue up here, you know. Yeah, okay, let's do it. A little bit differently there. You can also make these rounded, and I guess I I guess I kind of like it better when I do make them rounded. So let's do that now. See how I just put a little bit of a curve into it. Okay, then I'll go on here. Whoops. Okay, I didn't go past the line. Now is where my fire and ice comes into place because the rest of her hair is on that side. So it's flowing into the ice side. So I'll put the paper back more straight once I'm finished this. Okay, so she's got a lot of hair. That's straight down, so we won't be putting any in there. One over here, though. And... Here. I'll start talking in a minute. <laughs> it's hard for me to concentrate and talk at the same time. Alright, so now I'm going to get to work on the hair. I'll be coloring up to the line, and then coloring a bit on the other side of the line, and then blending over the space. Okay, so I already told you one of my bits of news. 
and I need to have a sip before we start here. And I'm sure you heard me guzzle that. It was flat. I just wanted to get it over with. So yeah, I already told you about my chair. And I had not wanted to... I didn't plan on filming this so late in the evening. Mm, did I say it was Wednesday? I know I told you the time. So yeah, um, but we have the construction workers on our street. We got a notice about, um, I don't know when because my husband only told me about it. He didn't show it to me. But, um, we got a notice telling us that some work was going to be going on in the street. And, um, he didn't bother to read it <laughs> properly, so I have no idea what's going on. If I'm the one who had gotten it out of the mailbox, I would have read every word of it and told him the whole story. And then discussed it with him. That's the difference between men and women sometimes, I think. Now, wait a minute. Okay, I didn't go close enough up there. Sorry, I'm... I need to try and keep this straight, okay? I'll try and keep it straight for you. So, these, I mean, obviously oil-based pencils work differently than waxed ones, but I'm trying to get my my pressure right on these to see what pressure works best. So it needs to be dark enough that you can see the blend. And of course, it, I already told you they don't work very well with light colors, so yeah. I need to. I didn't press hard enough there. I guess I need to have a little, be doing a little bit of burnishing and I guess I skipped a one but we'll see how it looks when we're finished but I don't think we have to like get every curve and you know just space them all out and uh, the only thing that I can tell you for sure is that if you do too many of them it looks funny because I have experienced that firsthand okay so Oh yes, the construction. So, they are working on the whole entire street, or like two streets actually. Um, it's a street that, the it's not my street, it's one that run, runs parallel to my street. And there's only two houses after mine until you reach the corner. So, I mean, I look out my window and I can just see it here perfectly fine. There's only one house on the other side of the street. So yeah, that I don't know how long that's going on for, and I'm just going to have to gauge it as to whether it's quiet enough for me to film while they're working or not, because um, I don't want to have to be relegated to only doing... Okay, so you know what? I'm going to turn her this way and keep her this way now for you guys because all my hair is going this way. Yeah, so who knows how long that's going on. I think the plan is to kind of um, revitalize this area where I live in. It's kind of, um, You know, it's it's not the best neighborhood in town, and some people don't like this area of town where I live because it's close to downtown. But it's not like we we're like a crime a crime ridden area or anything like that. The police and the fire department are very very close to this area, and you know, it's just because like when you get close downtown, you get a lot of rentals and like house rentals and we have um we have two low income uh 
apartment units around here and so you know they um they attract I should say the kind of people that that you don't really want to have in your neighborhood certainly not everybody's like that and I would say it's you know it's less there's more good people than there is the undesired but um they're the loud ones <laughs> you know they're the ones who walk down the street in the middle of the night um drunk and being loud so i don't want to go on about that but so that's why they're revitalizing this area because it's close to downtown and they're trying to bring the downtown back here they put Okay, I've lived here for, um, I don't know how long I've lived here, close to 15 years. Well, no, it's got to be 15 years because my son was March, April, yeah, he had his fifth birthday here, and, uh, so he's... 20 now so 15 that we've lived out here and when we moved out here they were talking about revitalizing this area so they've done bits here and there but if they upgrade this area I will be surprised the only good thing about it is that our house may become worth more because of being in a nicer area and I don't like that space I left there. It's going to color it in his hair. Okay, um, let's see. So today is Wednesday. I didn't come on on Monday or Two days. Yeah, I didn't come on Monday or Tuesday. Um, mostly because I wasn't exactly in the greatest uh, mood, do you want to call it? But I was really, 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 really <laughs> anxious about my hairdresser appointment on Tuesday. And so over the weekend, I started with the upset tummy, because that always happens to me when I'm anxious. And I didn't even color. I went, I went two days without coloring at all, and then on the third day, it took me... Well, no, okay, I didn't color on the first day, on Saturday, at all. And then on Sunday and Monday, it took me the whole two days to do uh, a not very complicated color by number. And it's my uh, a Zen Master. Well, it's it's been uploaded. So the Zen Master Lighthouse, if you remember that, I guess it's a, probably been a little bit since I uploaded it for uh, you guys watching this always try to keep it relevant to you so that when I mention a day it's I, I talk about it as if it's you watching this on the Monday in the future okay so now I come up to the line and I stop because this side is is ice and um, so while I will erase that line once once I get the other half done I'll erase it from that side so that when I do this side, I just have to go up to the other color. So, that's basically how my time went until Tuesday when I had my hair appointment and obviously I survived. <laughs> I made it through. And I knew I would. 
you know, I mean, when I get really anxious and stuff like that, I still have my logical mind. I just can't listen to it. But I knew I would get through it and that it wouldn't be as bad as I was making it out to be. And I mean, she knows me. I've been going to her for my to get my hair done for probably eight years. I used to be one of those people who just had long hair and never got the hair cut. But then when I went to, when I decided to get a style, I started going to her and, and I go regularly. But I hadn't been to see her for pretty close to six or seven months prior to this visit because I was, well, no, prior to COVID because I was growing my hair out and um, I didn't want to go to her until it was long and uh, so I was actually getting ready to go see her but of course my anxiety was keeping me back from doing that while my rationality was saying yes you, you need to make that appointment so go ahead and do it and then of course it was all solved for me because COVID hit and well I couldn't go could I so of course my hair was in a state that it didn't take too long until I had COVID, COVID hair and it looked quite a mess so she did a nice job she was a little well she was surprised at how long my hair is it um it goes down to like three quarters of the way down my back when it's wet of course i have naturally curly hair so it springs up considerably when it's dry but uh yeah so she was she was talking about how long it was and then i turned around <laughs> And my hair was really short on the back. But it had to be short. You see, I used to have my hair in kind of like a bob's length. And it was, it was, uh, you know, long like a bob on the sides. And the back was, was really, really, you know, man short. And it all, it all blended in together and came together nicely. But now, I... I had my hair as short as I could make it on the back, which wasn't altogether that short. And then I had these I had these two great big long sides. So from the front, it looks like I have curly, wavy, long, very long hair. And, and that's from the front, I mean. I have really long, wavy, curly, wavy, curly, wavy hair. It gets wavier when it's longer, and when it's like mid-length, it's curly. And when it's short, it's not. And from the back, it kind of looks punk. Because <laughs> it's really short, and then you can see this long hair that I've got going in the front. But that's okay, because um, it's been a very long time since I had a conventional haircut. Up until, up until like a year ago, I used to get my hair dyed all the time. And for the last little while, I was getting it dyed, like, quite vibrantly red, though nat still just a little bit over a natural color. You know, it was, it was too bright to have been, to have looked like it was natural hair. And, like, that's the way I wanted it. But before that, for quite a number of years, I was going... Uh, when I had, I had my hair short, and, um, I had it colored, all sorts of different colors. I did every color except for that silver that was all the rage a while back. Oh, and I didn't do mauve either, because the mauve wouldn't take on my hair, and the, um, the silver I didn't want, because... I was close. I already had my own silver hairs. Thank you very much. We weren't adding any more to them. 
so now it's my natural color but my very very ends still still have the red on them because I haven't gotten them cut I haven't got that dyed hair cut off so yeah um, I like my hair to be kind of Well, I can't. I say groovy. Um, <laughs> shows my age, but I wasn't told. I wasn't like a. Or I should say, don't make me out to be too old <laughs> that I use the word groovy. They used that when I was a youngster, and I wear my makeup, which I. I, I told you guys in my getting to know me that I barely wear makeup anymore, but that's that's only because I don't go anywhere. If I do go somewhere, I do get my makeup all done up. And I'm not, let's say I'm not shy <laughs> when it comes to the makeup. I have, I don't wear your normal colors, okay? brown eyeshadow is not in my is not in my makeup containers and or drawers I should say and um geez this hair is taking me so long I'm not even going to get a chance to oh my goodness we've been 38 minutes already I'm not even going to get to the fire and ice part but I'm just having so much fun. Like, I like using pencils. And especially here, knowing I'm only going to do the hair of these two girls in pencil. And the rest will be marker. Um, I, it's just so relaxing for me. So yeah, you know, and I, and I wear colors like this for nail polish. These are my own nails. Mm, they're too long at the moment. This one right here. When they get too long, they. I know they're too long. I knew that. I know they're too long when I have a hard time typing. But I do wear them longer than than uh, your average person does who doesn't have false nails. You know, and I'm only able to keep my natural nails this long because of my health condition. I don't, um, or I'm not able to do a lot of the housework and that kind of stuff. I, anything that you have to get down on your knees or you have to bend your back, yeah, I'm not there. If I can sit in a chair and do it, I will. I like to be able to be productive as much as I can. But yeah, uh, black eyeshadow and then just every color under the sun and, and um, lipsticks were, were my favorite thing. I've got every color of lipstick imaginable. And um, I don't know, those of you who um, those of you, who, uh, those of you who <laughs> are into uh, makeup and beauty, beauty stuff and all that, you might have heard of uh, sugar. Uh, oh, I can't remember what they're called. Are they sugar pop or sugar pill? Sugar pill doesn't sound right, but they make their stuff look like like pills. Okay. So anyways, there's an independent makeup company called Sugar, Sugar something, <laughs> and they just have absolutely fantastic makeup, and I've, they've made all sorts of new makeup, makeup I'm sure, since I was, I've been using them, but um, there was a point where I had everything, every time they came out with a new collection, I was there on the day waiting to waiting for it to go live so that I could get my order in before they ran out of stock so 
so you know green lipsticks that were like green blue turquoise all that kind of stuff if I ever show myself on this on the well you can see you can see myself in my really old videos because I used to do them I used to do them face to face but I've gained a lot of weight since then so it'll be well, I'm not against ever showing myself on screen it's just if I don't have to I'm not going to but if I ever do I will be wearing my makeup and yes I may have put it on specifically to film myself on camera but I will have it will be my normal normal makeup I uh, what I was all the whole reason for talking about all this she's was that um, I was going to say that it's the artist in me because I consider my body a canvas. Now, I only have one tattoo, and um, it's a religious one. So, um, it's not. I don't think of my body as a canvas in that way, though I, I obviously have nothing against tattoos. I just don't like the look of a lot of them. It just... I don't like the aesthetic and like I especially don't like those blue green tattoos I just you know I, I don't think any differently of anybody who has them it's just aesthetically I don't find them appealing to me I didn't put any waves in this girl's hair this strand of hair so I need to turn it again make this one bigger because the hair is thinner down there okay and let's go back up here so yeah so um you know paint my face uh my hair and um the type of clothes i used to wear very vibrant unmatching patterns you know I got dressed to express myself not to um, look pretty or for anybody else's idea of what I should wear I'm not I'm not really like that anymore right now because um, having the weight does things to you I mean, I was always on an upward, upward um, weight level ever since I had that operation, the bariatric surgery, because it uh, just didn't work. It didn't take. Yeah, I lost, I lost a hundred and close to 150 pounds in 18 months, but that's because the what the surgery one of the things that the surgery does to you is is it takes away the chemical that uh, makes you feel oh I didn't burnish the I mean I didn't blend this one it takes away the chemical that makes you feel hungry because um, that's what when you're feeling hungry there's a there's a chemical in your body that's at work when you have the the surgery that naturally removes the that naturally re removes the um, the chemical it just goes away and then in about 18 months it comes back and so you know of course I was going to lose weight when you know they do that to you it makes you not eat so you know of course you're of course you're going to lose weight but right from the beginning everything made me throw up or gave me upset stomach and it's just a nice way of saying diarrhea and gas and really uncomfortable digestion and when the I've talked about I feel like I'm talking about this way more than I think about it <laughs> 
but just you know it, it uh, when when that chemical came back into my body my body just naturally started putting on weight even though I wasn't I wasn't um, eating anymore or doing anything else it's it just started making my body behave normally okay what's going on here because it's hard to tell oh I see yeah it's not I'm s sorry for the shadows and the darkness and stuff but I'll be putting a light filter on this so hopefully you won't notice that it's very dark it's just that time of night so yeah, so I took Sixenda um, for a little while, but we're not covered for it, so I took it for, for a couple of months, see what it did, and uh, I lost 15 pounds, and I know I would have continued to lose using it, but like I said, we're not covered for it, so... I can't afford over $400 a month. That's like, well, we don't, we just, you know, we're not um, anywhere close to being wealthy people. I'm only able to buy the stuff that I buy for my hobby because basically my being bed bound, I don't, I don't go out anymore. So... You know, I wouldn't normally spend the spend the money that I buy on my hauls. I would I would have normally spent that money on my makeup, on my clothes, on going to the bar, and you know I can't have I can't drink anything now because of the pain medication I'm on. I I, I tried having a drink and it made me all made me feel all wobbly and weird. So. I don't do that. So yeah, I, I don't. I just don't do any of those, those things that people do with their money and, and um, just consider it normal everyday stuff. And I don't, I don't have the usual vices. I don't drink. I don't smoke. We don't have any alcohol in the house. You know, no reason to. My husband has never drunk since I met him. It's not a. He's not an alcoholic. He just. Um, he partied in his youth, and as he matured, he found there he didn't really enjoy it, and he didn't have any reason to. He didn't have to impress friends anymore once he matured. So that was all before I knew him. Anywho, <laughs> there is her hair, and it has all the highlights in it, and I think it looks nice. So, what time is it? All right. Well, let's add a little bit of color here, so I can use I can use reds and oranges. And that hair was bronze, so it's definitely um, orange. So, you know, this is I'm I'm actually wondering if I should use my alcohol markers. Maybe I shouldn't be using these ones because they're very juicy. The wine art in this book is quite thin so it's not exactly um, optimal for alcohol marker coloring but you get out these oh hoo hoos there these are my new ones so they're quite juicy too but I think they're less juicy than the smart color art and I think these have a these have a finer nip tip. Oh. So Monday was a holiday here. I don't know if it is in your part of the world. Okay, so let's give her a red bikini. This isn't going to bleed. Just have to get close to the lines. I 
think I may do her skin with pencil too because she's quite fine here. Don't want to make a mess. Yeah, when I color skin with pencils, I just get a, get one one color and color the skin that color. I have no idea how to do to do skin. <laughs> Up to this point, I've never uh, never even cared to cared to uh, know how, but. I kind of wouldn't mind trying if I could find a very simple tutorial like that used like three colors at most. Prefer two, but uh, yeah, so if you can find a very simple skin tutorial that you think I would, would be a benefit to me, then um, let me know. Hey, if Color with Claire has one, I'd love to see that because she just does easy tutorials, she says. So I know I've enjoyed her tutorials. They're not anything that I think, oh my, I couldn't be bothered to do all that. So yeah, Monday was the holiday, and um, it's not a real holiday, like we used to call it a bank holiday, which meant that, um, it meant that um, the bank <laughs> was closed, but so were all other um, government agencies. Well, I mean, banks aren't run by the government, but the money is, you know what I mean. It's one of those kind of agencies that you consider, you, that, you know, is considered to be whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> so, and then anywhere else that um, was government, like the DMV, the, like that's the motor motor um motor vehicle licensing place or whatever you want to call it but they don't call it a bank holiday anymore at least i didn't hear it referred to as that this holiday except by anybody except me they now call it a civic holiday and i don't like that because it makes it sound like we're celebrating the government and <laughs> like I've said before I would rather go to work than take a holiday that celebrated the government so um, just since I've touched upon it I am gonna just go a little bit into oh no I think I already talked about my hair yeah, I said I got through it, and yeah, I guess that's all I need to say. So, um, gonna have a hard time, uh, doing this with marker. Gonna have to be very careful. What I really want to do is get this stuff down here done. But I don't know what this is. I, I keep coming back to it. You know, it's like it's her leg, but obviously she doesn't have a leg. And her body is going that way, so the rest of her is behind there. And then there's a line here. I suppose this could be the water, and then this is a line that takes me up here. It's part of the rock. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, well, why don't I get some greens out here and do these? these leaves here so I want kind of a marine green what's this one look like I don't have my well this one came with a sketch card 
There we go. Let's get that out. Okay, which green do I want? That one's a bit too dark. This one's good. 58. Ah! <laughs> it's 58 in my hand. I'm good. So she says. Oh, you know, there are sketch lines in this picture. Now where where does this go? Okay. Yeah, it's like hard to hard to talk while I'm doing this because it takes quite a bit of concentration to make sure you don't get close to close enough to the line that it bleeds out. So last few days I haven't been watching anything except for YouTube. I think I'm in a mood. I'm I just I just haven't been able to settle. I for the longest time I've been watching TV shows on on uh off the computer and you know binge watching. I belonged, I don't anymore. Um, I belonged to both BritBox and Acorn TV, which are specialized in British television. And I watched every single thing that I wanted to watch on both of those at the time. I'm sure they've added a few shows now because it's been, it's been several months since I belonged. But it's not worth, they don't add new shows often enough that it's not worth my money to... Because remember, I've watched everything. There's no backlog for me to to um, go go to or look through. So I would be paying just in the hopes that they would release that something new would come to the station every month, and it doesn't. Oh well, yeah, it does. We have a small list of stuff that comes that's new to the channel every every month, but the chance of it being something I want to watch is pretty slim because, you know, the only thing I watch is the anything that has to do with mysteries or true or true crime or, you know, crime. If it has to do about crime, I, I will try and I will try it. I won't watch crappy TV. If it's no good, I won't watch it, but I will be giving it a try. Oh, this is this is really awkward to see which part is which on this. This isn't gonna be a this isn't going to be a fast color. But I think I'll stick with this for this um for this video and um then starting with the next one I will be pulling some pulling some stuff out that people have asked me to to color on screen and uh, I have I have a nice little nice little list of stuff that people have, a have asked for um, today I did the hair for Misty and anybody else who wanted to see it again done properly So every, every vlog I will try to have addressed um, or have done something that uh, you guys have suggested. So make sure you keep the requests coming because uh, I, need to, I need to have my list it has to have stuff on it for me to do that. Of course, every now, every once in a while, I'll just uh, pick up whatever I'm working on and go with that. And I know the last few videos I've stuck with one picture throughout the whole vlog, but um, after this one, I'm gonna. Or actually, I don't know. I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna work on this one when I get off screen and until I come back on. So if I finish it, 
then I will show it to you so you can see what it looks like. And, oh no, man, oh, why didn't somebody tell me? And I'm sure you're all screaming. No, Nikki, no. <laughs> I'm using green on the fireside. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure that if I add one of my one of my colors on top of that, it'll turn into a dark red. Oh, but that is okay. Let's put wine on top of this. Okay, hang on. Let me let me do a couple of tests. Oh, oh, I just feel gutted that I did that. Oh man. Okay, so here's my green. Let's do a couple of. Give myself a couple of chances. Okay. So if I put a deep dark red on top, what am I going to get? Okay. It turns into dark red, so that's acceptable. And if I put a dark orange is 21. So if I put dark orange on top, what am I going to get? I don't know. I think the green is showing through there. That's not quite so good. And the yellow and green make something. Let me try my deep yellow. I think I only have one in this set. 33. Well, it does change the color of the green, but it still stays green. Yeah, the same with this one. So my only my only choice is to cover it with the wine red. So then I'll have a darker red touching that. Oh, I wish I could have heard you guys screaming at me. Let's go over this one and see what happens. I just totally was not paying attention. I mean, I was, I was being, I was paying attention to my coloring, making sure it was neat. I'm probably going to wreck it. But I just totally went with the fire and ice theme. Okay, that's fine. I just got to make sure I cover it all. Okay, so now it's a very dark red. Okay, so that's as much as I can do. I think it's too late. And I'm losing my concentration. But I certainly didn't lose my gift for Gab. I'm just like a really quiet person. I don't talk much in real life. Like if I'm with other people, I'm the listener. But when I'm on my own, or like with people I know, I can sometimes just, well, like, it's my bipolarism, too. If I'm, like, in one of those up moods, oh, I can, I just go without stopping. <laughs> and I occasionally find myself in that kind of a mood without being up, you know, one of my bipolar ups. Uh, it just, I just naturally get talkative and stuff with you guys, so that's good. So, yeah, I am going to start... I mean, stop. So I'm going to say goodbye. And I will log in. Again, I still have lots of things on my list to talk about. So. Oh. Yeah. It still hurts to get up from the chair. Okay. So, see you when I log in again. Thursday morning at 10.15 and I am just coming on here for a few minutes because I'm so excited <laughs> and you're the only ones who will care <laughs> but I finally got my package that I was waiting for in from England it's from Jackson Arts and it was my first my first order with them so I just made a I just made a small order and um, I was, you know, I'd heard good things about them. 
that you're shipping overseas is wonderful. But it ended up spending exactly one month in customs, which is just absolutely ridiculous. Something this size and this co the cost of this, which was small, you'll see when you see what I got, it, there's just no reason for it. And, you know, that's part of the reason why Canada Mail is, like, the only one in the world that... Well, I don't know if it's the only one in the world, but it is so behind that it just has millions of packages stacked up all over the place. We had a strike. People probably won't even remember it now, but before Christmas we had a strike. And, um, well, it lasted for a while, but it ended before Christmas. And they hadn't recovered from that. I mean, we had, we had boats in our harbors full of mail from overseas. And we'd been, we'd been penalized by countries all over the world who wouldn't ship to us because of our mail, <laughs> the, the state it was in. And we just, we just start getting our mail back normally. Sorry, this wasn't meant to be a rant about the mail, but you know, uh, whatever. <laughs> We just start getting our mail back normally and countries shipping to us and COVID hits. Oh, so the mail system hadn't recovered from that. And then it starts, it, it gets COVID sanctions put upon it. So I am just so happy to have this. Just let me give it a hug there. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Like you can see, it's not a big order. It's one little, it's one little box. I ordered a few pencils that I don't, that I've never tried, that I thought would be, or that I did want to try. So I will share this with you. And while I'm opening it, I just want to let you know that, you know, the terrible accent, uh, accent, the, the terrible accident that I did on my uh, fire and ice picture, I have come to a different solution, which I will show you first thing when I come on to color again. But we're just going to look at these. These are three pencils that I have wanted to know what they are like. And you may recognize them. But, what does that say on it? Oh, okay. I thought it said Derwent and I went, I didn't order any Derwents. So, uh, I guess I might as well just write on that for a little thing. So the first thing I did was get some polychromos because I have never tried a polychromos. Yes, they sell them at my, although these aren't them. This is, the round one is. Here they are. Okay, so I like the size of them. They're bigger barrels. I like the bigger barrels. They're pretty. I knew what they looked like already though. So in each color, I got my three favorite colors, so that even if I don't like the pencils, I'll use them because I like the colors. So my favorite colors are red, lime, and turquoise. So this was called Helio Turquoise. It was the only one that was called turquoise. This is May Green. It was the limest green I could find. And then a nice bright red called Deep Red. So let's see if it actually is bright. So, so I like the barrels and they're light, but not too light. <laughs> you know, they've got the heft to them that a nice, that a nice uh, professional quality pencil has. Um, so they're all sharpened to usable lengths. So let's see. Oh. Okay. So I, mean, I was told how hard these were. I thought they. You get lots of color without even pushing. Now let's let's put my heavy hand to use. Okay, that's too I'm pushing too hard, that's hurting. There. Yeah, it, it hurts to actually push with these. But you get lots of pigment without pushing. Okay, so that's a pretty color.
chose that. That's lime enough. This one's got a little chip in it, but um, I don't want to go... Oh, yeah. Okay, so even though this is called deep red, it's a nice... I'm pushing. Okay, let's try over here and not push. These are definitely going to um, test my heavy-handedness and help me practice, because that's what I'm doing, is I'm practicing not pushing unless I'm doing a, well, I'm trying not to push, let's just say that. Okay, so those are nice. Those are going to be fun to get to use. Okay, now the second ones that I got were Pablo's. So the, um, the Polychromos are by Faber-Castell. The Pablo's are by Karen Dash. So they're a lot more expensive than the Faber-Castells. And you know, I've asked a lot of people about these and it's like everybody gives me a different answer. Some people have told me they're hard. Some people have told me that they're like in between a polychromo and a, and a um, Prisma. And um, yeah, just people have just given me a lot of different information. So I wanted to try these. So um, this is a hexagonal barrel, which... I don't find the most comfortable because it hurts my my writing bump, but um, they feel good. I think they have a bit more heft to them than no, they don't because these are the, this is a, tr a traditional sized pencil. So yeah, um, I guess they have a little bit less heft to them than the polychromos. And uh, let's give it a try. Ooh, nice. I think I'm, get, I'm getting more pigment. Yeah, about the same. I'm pushing. Well, that feels better, giving it a little bit of push. I don't mean better than this. I mean better than the polychromos did. But it's. These are harder. This has a harder lead. Oh, oh, I forgot to tell you the colors. This is Indian red. <laughs> totally non-PC. Uh, this one is a turquoise green. Oh yeah, I love that. I like all shades of turquoise from the from the blue to the green, well, this is blue, this is green, to the light, to the darks. Well, yeah, these definitely have a lot of pigment, even, I, I'm not not pushing, like this is not pushing at all. But this is just like a normal, a normal hand. So that's pretty, let's compare this to that one. This one I think is actually called lime, yeah. Little yellowish for a lime, in my opinion, to the type of lime I like. But yeah, the three colors look nice. And then I got Illuminance. Now these are expensive, guys. So I only got one. And I decided to get a green because whether I liked it or not, I would use it because I color a lot of leaves. And my fair amount of trees and grass. So this is actually called grass green. So this is a thick one. And this may even be over four millimeters because this is a four millimeter. It might be just because it doesn't have a colored barrel that it looks it does feel like it takes up more space. Okay, so I love the size of the barrel. Oh, now these these are hard, and I like the sound it makes. I like hearing that I am here, and I am rubbing on the surface. Ooh. That really lays down nice. Okay. So I can tell right there how, why these are so much. Yeah, so... I get myself some nice use out of these as I learn to see. 
which ones I like. And at some point I do want to invest in one of these more expensive sets of uh, pencils. So this will help and I can pick up some other colors as we go along as I'm deciding. And there are other ones I want to try too. So yeah, I just want to want to uh, let you guys know that I've come on in the middle of the day. I told you about the construction. They're right in front of my house right now. They are redoing the street. So we haven't been able to tell yet if they are doing the whole street, which they should because we've lived here 15 years and it was a mess when we came, or if they're just doing spots. But yeah, they're right in front of my house, so I'm going to go because I know it's uh, tough to hear me. So thanks for being here for me to follow, to be with me, to share my joy. <laughs> hey, talk to you later. Bye. Hey, I'm just logging on for a minute here so that I can um, show you how my fire and ice picture turned out and what I did about that big green oopsie on my fire side. This is the binder that I'm keeping this in. So here we go. Got it all finished. And if you will remember, oh, I'm sure it's not too hard since it just happened <laughs> seconds ago for you, but down here I had colored these green by mistake. And as I left you, I had gone over one of these with a darker red. <clears throat> now, as soon as I turned the camera off, I realized that all it had done was make this black. So I needed to come up with something that was going to make the these leaves red. And using my alcohol marker was not going to work, so I needed something opaque. So right then, I thought of acrylic paint. So the first thing I do when I think when I want to use acrylic paint is take a look and see if I've got uh, a Posca or another paint pen. And uh, so I looked and I did. I had red. I had a red paint pen. And I went over them, over the green. And it covered it all up. They're a little dark. There's a little bit of, I guess you could say it's sh shadows. There's kind of some little darkish spots in there where it didn't quite cover it up and I did go over it with two coats and then uh, Posca takes away uh, the, the, um, the lines in this because I needed to go over it all to get rid of all that green so I just took a sh uh, ultra fine sharpie when I was finished and I drew around the shapes and uh, put the lines back in the middle so yeah, uh, I think it uh, it fixed that well, and uh, no one's the wiser except for us, and we'll keep it a secret, <laughs> won't we? Okay, so I was just popping on for that, so I'll uh, talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada, and... Oh, <laughs> I'm not supposed to say that. I am logging in. Oh my goodness. I'm logging in on Saturday and it is the middle of the afternoon. I honestly don't have a clue what time it is. I'm so used to starting my videos with the welcome, Nikki and I, you know, if you're, if you create content, you probably know what I mean. So, uh, Welcome, anyways. What is this? These are almost all of my water-based markers. And then in here are all my Poscas and paint pens. So this is a tote that I got from Michael's a, a couple of years ago. And uh, it's got pockets on the sides, too. I don't know if you can see, but I've got, now you can't see this one, 
So there's three little pockets in here. There's two here, there's two here, and then on that side, there's a, a zip up thing. I've got all the blacks in there. So um, I'm going to be using water-based markers for for this, uh, what I'm working on today. So I'm just going to move this out of the way, so I, or move it over so that I can use it. And <laughs> I don't have a lot of room on this desk right now. I've got a lot of flip-throughs to go through. And then I will be a lot better off for space. So... My pencils from yesterday are working out really nice. I'm going to be using them to color a picture out of um, Rhapsody, Rhapsody in the Forest. Yeah, I'm going to add I add a couple colors to them and uh, use kind of that limited color palette and uh, see how they go and try and decide what I like what I like best. Uh, so yeah, um, my color by number Facebook group is uh, featuring uh, Zen Master color by number books. So that's what this is. This one is yarn. Not really appropriate for this time of year. I think of this as a winter book because it's all warm and cozy and, and everything. But uh, I'm just going through my pile of Zen Master books. So hopefully I'll get a picture done out of every one. So I did the big spots with uh, alcohol marker. Now I'm going to be working on the small spots with uh, water-based markers because they're great for just filling in the, the little tiny spaces. They don't streak much and everything. So when I'm doing a big page like this, I think I've said it before, but I start I start with, uh, I, I do the numbers in order because then that way, whatever number I'm on, like let's say I'm on not nines, and then I'm looking for more nines and I find a number less than nine, then I know I missed it. And I can, I can grab that and color in the one I missed. It, it's easier than just leaving all your missed ones to the end and having to do two spaces of this color and one space of that color and three of this and whatever, so. That's how I do it. So I need to get out blue. And I'm trying to use up these little, um, these little, uh, I, where's my piece of paper? Oh, I don't know if I can get to it. I'm trying to keep a piece of scratch paper near here. But anyways, I'm trying, uh, on the side here where I have the three pockets, I have all these little, little Crayola uh, markers. There's not that many here, but I'm trying to use trying to use them up. These aren't all my uh, water salt of uh, water based markers because uh, I do have oh it's right here. I have this which I've put all my um, these are all my super tips and all my Stettler uh, 320s, which are the uh, double, double-ended markers. One end is pretty much just like a super tip. So I keep those in here because I use these for my um, French color by number books. These and my Tombos. And there, the Tombos are in there in the case that they came with in a different spot. So, yeah. All right, so I'm looking for number ones and I'm gonna be coloring in blue. So I don't have a lot to say today. It's just, uh, come on, finish up the, wrap up the, wrap up the week. Got some kind of like news and information uh, things to tell. But um, today is Saturday, and you know I like to. Oh, I'm always so afraid my head is going to be in there. But I think I just have to kind of get used to my new sit setup here. So my chair is working good, anyways. So that was worth the money. 
Oh, sometimes I wear magnifying glass for for this one because the numbers can get hard when you get into the tiny little stuff. Hard to see. So the whole the whole list is on the on the on every page for these. So you might look for a number and it might not be there because not every number is used. Though I think usually he tries to get every number into his pictures. So they're often wildly colorful. And I can't find a one anywhere. But let's keep this out for it. So two is yellow. And do I have a yellow over here? What's this? Brass banana. I think that's kind of a, yeah. It's a dark yellow. Oh, what's this one in here? There we go. That's a yellow. Okay, so now I'm looking for a two. So yeah, I had wanted to get on here yesterday, but uh, I had a bad day. I don't know, I don't know what the problem was, but I, all of a sudden, I like came over really, really hot. And my husband saw me and he went, you're bright red. And I said, I don't doubt it. I feel like I am. And, um, I just didn't, I just felt like blah. You know, I don't think I'm going to find a two on here either. Unless I can't talk and look for numbers at the same time. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I felt really blah. You know, and I haven't seen any threes or, four. oh, there's threes, okay. Okay, so three is red. So he said, um, what color do they call this? Yeah, this is red. So I was just pretty much, you know, sitting around when that all happened to me. And I cannot tell what numbers those are there. I'll have to, I'll have to wait until I have my magnifying glass with me. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, and then I was just like really, really tired and stuff. So, um, I went and just stood on the cold water and, and, um, kind of, well, you know, my problem was water on my face, but I was so hot that I was splashing water on my face and managing <laughs> as I needed it. And then I just came and laid down and I slept until it was like middle of the evening. And I was just so lethargic and tired and everything. But then, you know, as the night wore on, I just felt better. <laughs> so I don't know what that was all about, but I'm fine and... No, it's not COVID. <laughs> so my sister said when I was telling her, she was, oh, are you sure? Yeah, I feel fine. And I don't have any chest problems at all, so don't tell me that's it. Jeez, we're not getting anywhere fast, are we? Oh, hey, four is green. And then I have that in here, too. No, this might be turquoise. Mermaid tail. I mean, who knows what color mermaid tail is? That is, yeah, that's turquoise. Okay, here's one of these fat ones. Teeny teal. This one green, guys. This one. Baby fur green. Well, this is probably going to work for, oh no, it's not that dark. Okay, so I'm looking for four now. So, yeah, and that's an update on me. Now, um, what was I going to, oh, like my major, my major news to tell is actually something kind of good news. Um, before 
COVID hit, I weighed myself and I was like at my at my top weight that I was before, like same weight I was before I had my bariatric surgery. And um, so yeah, it's been a steady increase on the weight. And um, yeah, so I was really depressed and stuff and I remember going to my therapist and it was all, you know, I couldn't really talk of anything because I was just so depressed about about, you know, having been through all that and ending up in the same place where I started. So, um, yeah, so that part's kind of, that part is depressing. <laughs> I need dark brown. I think I can find darker than that. Mm, this looks like, no, is it brown? Yeah, it's got to be. Okay. So dark brown is five. So anyways, I haven't weighed myself since because it's just, um, oh, it would have been too depressing to just weigh myself, you know? When you get to a certain weight, you're afraid to weigh yourself. And, you know, if I don't find any fives, I'm just going to just pick a number and go with it so that we can actually, like, color something on here. So, anyways, um, my sister and I were talking on the phone maybe Thursday. And um, I said to her, you know, I said, I, f I think, I feel like I might have lost weight. I said, I, I don't know because I'm not going to weigh myself. Okay, so there you go. I'm not going to go from... I'm not going to go in order now because I need to find a number that I can find. Okay, nine. I see those. Light yellow. Okay, well, I'll just pick a different yellow. Okay, so what did I say? Nine. Okay, so I saw some of these up here. Yay, we're finally coloring. And so, you know, that was it. And then in the morning, I got up and I went, I gotta do it. I gotta weigh myself. I gotta see. Because I really did feel like I had lost weight. Um, I have to lose a lot of weight before it's anything that I'll notice in clothes or anything like that but it was kind of like my arms didn't didn't seem to like look as large so I weighed myself and I took a look at the number and I was like what are these scales broken again and so I get off not broken but for the longest time they didn't have a battery in them and then we finally put a battery in so I'm like, oh, I need a battery again. So I stood on and it said the same number. And I'm like, what? Can this be? <laughs> you know, I was just like in shock. And I stepped on it a few times. You know, I waited in between and you know, made sure I stood on it properly. It's a digital one. So, you know, it, it tells you right to the right to the ounce and so get a load of this I've lost 30 pounds since COVID started it's unreal and I mean I'm not doing anything I mean obviously something must be happening but like I can't exercise there's nothing I can do that way I, I know a few things that I'm doing um, concerning eating. And there's very small changes, but um, I guess there are enough. Because, I mean, you, you guys know all about my 
my eating problems so you know I don't eat solid food much and um, you know it's hard I don't really have that much of a varied diet I rely on on um, protein shakes and you know boost and that kind of stuff the diabetic one diabetic boost and um, you know other things so I don't expect to be losing any more than what I've lost but it sure feels makes me feel better because I was pretty I was pretty depressed about being at the weight I was so who knows maybe if I just be careful of what I eat well <laughs> it's kind of hard to say that because like because of what I do eat but I mean if I just make sure I don't put anything with extra sugar or you know just keep the ingredients of my smoothies to low low carb low 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 sugar and just keep that up high protein looks like this one's running out on us here and uh yeah, so even if I don't lose any more, at least I did that, eh? So, yeah. Pretty good about that. So, um, here in, uh, town, we probably have one of the biggest idiots around. Uh, I was in the paper a few days ago. Some guy. Yeah, well, we have this, um, shopping chain of, uh, shopping chain? This chain of stores here in uh, Canada that's a drugstore and it's kind of like the major the major drugstore there you know every every town has one no matter how small and and that time um, it's called shoppers shoppers drug mart and so anyways this guy was in in the store and he was scraping the arrows off of the floor and um, so there was a picture of him on his hands and knees. I guess uh, somebody with their cell phone grabbed the shot. And um, they had called the police. And the police were standing in front of him. And uh, he got arrested. So good for that. Because, I mean, he said something about how the people of Niagara Falls are shopping in fear or <laughs> something like that. <laughs> I mean, like, he's obviously one of these anti-mask people and has no idea what this is all about, so, yeah. I'm glad they, I'm glad they followed through and arrested him. I think he got a fine in the end, but at least he had to go through the process and maybe he'll smarten up. So I'm just going to finish this row because with this yellow, if it'll last that long, and then I'll just pick out another one. And I guess you all probably know the latest news already that uh, Copic has released their new, the new inks, uh, the new ink refills in Japan. So, hopefully that means that uh, the boats to Canada and the U.S. are full of uh, Copic refills for all our, our art stores. <laughs> And hopefully it won't be too long until they start appearing in the stores and we can start getting refills for our Copics again. I don't even want to use mine because I have I have a bunch. Well, not not a bunch compared to. I mean, you know, I don't know how many six, seven that I use all the time, and I don't have any ink for them. And so I don't want to just keep using them and moving them over and getting more and more and more that need ink. So it's making me not want to use them knowing that I can't get ink for them. So 
that. We just used up a marker, folks. Let's grab another one. Is there another one around here that looks bright? Um, this one is probably fluorescent. Whoa, yeah, I don't think I'll add that in. And this one is probably two, yeah. Okay, here's one. Yeah, not quite as bright, but it's not going to matter in the grand scheme of things here. Okay, so, oh, you know what? I need to get it so I can show you. So, the ongoing saga of the yellowing that we are finding on our pages. I had come to the conclusion that it was the ink in the, in the budget-friendly markers that had changed, and that's what was causing the problem. But it has been reported to me that it's happening with uh, name brand markers as well. Um, Copics, uh, mm, I don't know, somebody told me something else, but I can't remember, I can't remember what it was, it wasn't one that I use, but anyways, Copics were mentioned, that they were, that they had turned the page blue, okay, there's nothing wrong with the Copic ink, it's like, you know, it's one of the things that makes the Copics what they are, is that they have superior ink, so, it's not that. And this morning I was using my, um, my, I can't even speak. I'm kind of like in slow motion today, it seems like. So anyways, this is my swatch book. So I got it out to swatch my stickles, which I have never done. So I finally did it, and now I can actually see what colors I have at a glance. But anyways, I took out this, which is kind of like my guide sheet, and, you know, put this under here so that I can, you know, see the lines through, because I didn't want to draw any lines. But when I took this out, look at this. This is yellow. It's got the pattern of the lines on here in yellow, and this is Sharpie. I did that with Sharpie. So, I mean, Sharpie has been around for goodness knows how long, and there, we, uh, there's no problem with Sharpie ink or whatever. So, I've been trying to figure out what, why this is happening, and my final conclusion is that it has nothing to do with uh, budget-friendly markers. It has nothing to do with the ink that's going into them. And I am wondering if it's the humidity. Because where I live here, it's very humid. And I know, like, we know Misty, um, whose channel is uh, Country... Oh, I don't know what her channel's name is. Uh, she's Country Girl NCC on, I think, on um, Instagram. Sorry, Misty, I can't remember the name of your channel. <laughs> I, I'm used to you being Misty. Um, so, anyways, we all know what happened to her, and she had all those yellow pages in her Deborah Muller books. And she lives in the south of the USA, so um, from, what I know, from what I know of uh, American geography, it's very humid in the American south. So... I'm wondering, anybody else out there who's experiencing, experiencing this yellowing, do you live in a dry climate? Is anybody in the deserts, Nevada, 
or wherever else you have deserts, California, where there's dry heat, dry, dry weather, winter, whatever, um, do you get the yellowing? Maybe it is a humidity thing. So yeah, the, it's just, uh, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it, it's not really a concern or stuff, but I have this inquisitive mind and in that I like to, like I'm always researching little things to find, to get to the bottom of them. And this is a thing, this is a thing that is like just preying on my mind that I have to know why it's happening. <laughs> but anyways, that's, that's what I'm thinking it is and that's what I'm going to stick with. And unless I hear that it is happening to a lot of people who live somewhere where it's not humid. And the other, well, I was going to say the other great news. That's not great news. The other, uh, the weight was the great news. But um, the other thing is, is that what I am drinking in this cup is Diet Dr. Pepper. There are big plastic two-liter bottles of Dr. Pepper hanging around in the stores. My husband went into a store, was able to uh, grab uh, three bottles, and uh, we'll see what happens next time <laughs> he goes to get pop. But um, I don't particularly like to have my pop in the plastic bottles. I think it makes it taste a little weird. But... Uh, Dr. Pepper in a plastic bottle is fine by me, as long as it's Dr. Pepper. So, I haven't gotten much coloring done here, so what are you guys up to? Anyways, I think I'm going to close in a little bit here, because somehow I spent, I spent half an hour, and I don't even know what we did. <laughs> I can't remember what I've been talking about. So, yeah, um, what are you up to? What, what, what have you been coloring? What are your coloring plans for this month? Um, I've done, I've done three, I think. I've done three buddy colors in my chibi book. And then, uh, so I'm done those, and I'm going to take a break from the chibis this month because I've been going like, <laughs> been going like crazy in that for, well, all of June and July. I, I did lots of pages in there, and I'm going to keep that book open, kind of like as any time I do a, any time I do a challenge or. If a color along comes along, I'll see if one of the pages matches it, and I'm going to use that book for that. Um, then I have one more buddy color to do out of uh, Kanoko Igusa's uh, Rhapsody in the Forest, which I'm really looking forward to. I think I told you already that I was uh, going to use my new pencils, and I added a couple of colors to it, too to suit the picture, and um, I'm going to use that limited color palette, so I'm really looking forward to getting to work on that. And, um, oh, yeah, and um, I'm really uh, going to concentrate on, well, plus I'm doing the Zen Master for the uh, coloring, the color by number group, and then I'm going to spend the, the month, or I've already started, concentrating really hard on my Color Your Horde books, so I'd like to, I'd like to get a bunch of those out, so that, if I do, then that means that at the end of the month, I'll have a big pile of books with just one picture colored in them, but yeah, that's what I really want to do. So, um, I can't think of anything else to say, so I think I'm going to wrap up for this week. Um, coming, anything coming for the, uh, next week's vlog, the only, th y you know, it's just day by day and what goes on around here, but I do plan to color in a book that, uh, someone requested that I color in, so, um, I will be doing that, and if you want to put input into what I do on this channel, suggest a book, suggest a supply, uh, anything that you'd like to see me doing is, some, is 
swatches or a set of pencils or something that I have that you'd like to see me swatch. You know, whatever. Uh, most people tell me they'd like to see me work in such and such a book and that's good enough, but uh, I have one request to color in a book and what they want me to use. So that will be coming up sometime. So I think I'm starting to ramble, but I am looking for input. And um, if you have any ideas of topics that uh, we can talk about, mention them down below. And uh, in the meantime, I guess I will see you next week. So I hope you have a good week. I hope the weather is good and I hope it's not too humid. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't yellow your pages. <laughs> so, in the meantime, until next time, guys, keep safe, keep healthy, wear a mask. Bye-bye.